we have to integrate 1 upon 1 plus cos square x there can be several approaches but uh, what I find uh, my favorite is to divide the numerator and denominator by cos square x so if I divide numerator by cos square x it will become 1 upon cos square x and in denominator it will be 1 upon cos square x plus cos square x divided by cos square x dx now my numerator will become secant square x which gives me a hint that there will be a tan substitution let's see this is secant square x plus 1 so I don't want a denominator I don't want secant square x in denominator because I'm going to substitute tan as t so I know a very famous identity 1 plus tan square x is secant square x so it is secant square x divided by 1 plus tan square x plus 1 so this is secant square x divided by 2 plus tan square x one more little step uh, it is secant square x divided by 2 can be written as root 2 the whole square and this is tan x the whole square now I can take tan x as t just to get uh, secant square x dx as dt on differentiation so my numerator entirely becomes dt in my denominator I have root 2 square plus t square so dx upon x square plus a square a famous spatial integral this is 1 by a tan inverse x by a so here we will have 1 by a tan inverse x by a in place of x I have t divided by a plus a constant c now I am uh, going to put the value of t back so tan inverse t was your tan x so tan x divided by root 2 plus c so a simple integral smooth steps not so difficult steps but it was uh, difficult in the first step only otherwise it was a smooth transition because if you can think that uh, we can divide by cos square x in numerator and denominator then the steps are uh, just uh, your hands will move through and you will get to the answer uh, you need to know some uh, formulas first one being this and uh, this is the simple trigonometric identity so that's it from my side I hope you understood this integral